Hello and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Partner. Today we are diving into a powerful educational model that can transform your classroom technology use. The SAMR model for technology integration, also called SUMMER. Many teachers seek out educational technology because it can have considerable positive impacts on a student's performance. Improving test scores and allowing for more efficient assessment of a student's achievement. However, a big challenge is often how to integrate it effectively, especially with the sheer number of tools available. This is where Summer comes in, helping us think about what the highest quality technology integration actually looks like. The summer model was developed in 2010 by an independent education researcher, Rune Pantadura. It's a conceptual tool designed to help educators think about the role of technology in supporting learning. Summer stands for four tiers of online learning, presented roughly in order to their sophistication and transformative power. Number one, substitution. Number two, augmentation. Number three, modification. And number four, redefinition. Let's break down each level with real life applications. First, we have substitution. At this level, you are simply replacing traditional activities or materials with digital versions with no substantial change to the content. Think about scanning your paper worksheets and converting into PDFs to post online or recording your lectures on video for students to view later. The goal here is to keep things simple, delivering content digitally without reinventing the wheel. Next is augmentation. Here you are incorporating interactive digital enhancements like comments, hyperlinks or multimedia. The content remains unchanged but students can take advantage of digital features to enhance the lesson. For instance, instead of just handling out paper quizzes, you could gamify your quizzes with tools like Socrative or Kahoot. Students might always create digital portfolios with multimedia presentations to demonstrate their understanding or you could set up virtual bulletin boards using apps like Padlet where students post questions, links and pictures. Moving up, we find modification. This level involves technology significantly modifying the task. There is where a learning management system like Google Classroom or Canvas can handle logistical aspects like tracking grades and posting assignments. Technology opens up new channels of communication, benefiting all students, including those who might traditionally be marginalized. For example, the Zoom's text chat allows students to write out questions which can feel less intrusive than speaking up in a large group and slower paced asynchronous discussion in online forums can benefit students who prefer to collect their thoughts. Finally, we reach redefinition. This is where learning is fundamentally transformed, enabling activities that were previously impossible in the classroom. This level truly taps into technology's potential to bring authentic real world learning into the online space. Imagine virtual pen poles connecting your students with peers or experts across the globe or taking virtual field trips to locations like the Amazon rainforest. You could even invite the author of a book your class is reading to chat about their work. A powerful example is having students create their own wikis or blogs for public consumption and feedback and tackle local problems inviting community members to assess their digital proposals. To summarize, let's consider this small case study. A teacher wants students to learn about different biomes. For substitution, the teacher posts a PDF to fact about various biomes online for students to read. In argumentation phase, students use a digital presentation tool to create multimedia presentations about a biome embedding videos and interactive maps. During modification, the teachers set up an online discussion forum where students asynchronously debate environmental challenges specific to different biomes, allowing all students to thoughtfully contribute their ideas. And finally, redefinition. 
students then take a virtual field trip to a specific biome like the Amazon rainforest. Following this, they collaborate to create a shared blog or wiki publishing their research and proposal for environmental conversation to a global audience, inviting feedback for experts or other classrooms around the world. The entirely new level of engagement and global collaboration would have been impossible without the technology. The primary benefit of thoughtful technology integration guided by models like SUMMER is the considerable positive impact on students' performance and engagement. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is very useful for you. So thank you very much. If you have any question, query or you need any support for making a decision, don't hesitate to write an email to the teaching partner at gmail.com. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.